life can be hard. Sometimes we can feel alone or separated in some way from every other member of our species. We call it change, but it is simply the process of life being lived, the birth and death and rebirth of every word, every thought, every action, and in each moment there is change. If we can understand that change is like breath, it's not part of the process, it is the process, then we can live our lives with more grace and ease. While the thought of change can seem overwhelming and cause us to dig in our heels, resist and hold on to what we have and the way things are, the truth is that we are changing in every moment with every breath. You are not the same person who began listening to this just a few moments ago. At the cellular level, change is constant and continuous. If we can bring ourselves in a leap of courage to embrace change as our true teacher, our life expands in magnificent, unforeseeable ways. We don't try so hard to hold on. We know that the universe will sort out the details and take care of the outcome. The Bhagavad Gita, chapter 2, verse 47, says that we have total control over our own actions, not the fruit of them. We control our words, our thoughts, and our deeds, not the fruit of them. If we can allow change to be our teacher, we can learn each day to let go of the subtle attachments that creep into our minds and then turn into limiting beliefs. We can then find our own rhythm in the cycle of change, the expansion and the contraction, the high and the low, the light and the dark. Allowing change and embracing uncertainty is the antidote to suffering. In order to find peace, we need to allow things to be in a constant state of flux, to be okay with change. This infinite flexibility allows us to see the possibilities in whatever happens, even if the situation looks impossible. <laughs>